Richard Suertudo here for The Paper Eye. Today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite authors. Again, they're all my favorite authors, I'm sorry. But this is Zane Gray, okay? Viva America! This is his most famous book, Writers of the Purple Sage. Now there's something about a Zane Gray novel. If you ever get an opportunity to read him, when he's out in the range on a horse, his character, and they're riding through the sagebrush, you feel like you're on that horse with him. It is wild. I'm telling you, it's better than a movie because you're reading that book and all of a sudden the coyotes are wailing and you're riding your pony and the, the, the gunslingers are chasing him and it, he's got the girl he's got to go get and it's phenomenal. I mean, this guy is a great writer and to this day, listen, I read one of these novels last week. I read Nevada last week, actually, and it was just a great, great, great novel. Another thing I like about this, now this is printed by Grosset and Dunlap. It may be a second, although I think it might be a first print, but at any rate, he's got on here uh, a piece of art of the Purple Sage, and it's just like a miniature little painting, and to find these in good condition is really difficult to do because always, this is a piece of art that has been adhered to the, the cover of the novel. And so they never lasted. They always get worn off or they're beat up. And so to get it, if you have an opportunity to find this without having it be beat up and everything, you know, jump on it. You can still buy these for under $100 uh, if you're lucky. If you, you look around, you know, you... It just is, it's an iconic image, quite frankly. That's what this is. You know, Zane Gray uh, wrote a multitude of Western novels. He lived to about the age of 67. He was born in Ohio, died in California, and he started the Western genres for all of those Saturday morning serials at the first movie theaters. Our Western hero, Zane Gray, with Writers of the Purple Sage.